Hi, I'm Mrs C and I'm passionate about baking, cooking and all things food. When you get older, you have to make that choice. Do I follow my dream for as long as I can or do I continue working in the corporate world? So we decided to follow our dream. <laughs> Patrick never admits to liking this swing seat. He likes to feel seasick. <laughs> We are very, very blessed. And we know that, we never take it for granted. This is a tray bake. Tray bakes are, are something that uh, we're quite well known for here in Northern Ireland. But this is a chocolate and a stout, which is made by a local brewery up the road. And the top frosting of it, I make using my two stacks, double cream Irish liqueur which is just between them together they're just delicious they blend whiskies and drinks and they have made this double cream irish liqueur and it's an alternative to to another better known um brand <laughs> however it is far superior it is okay. delicious um might be slightly prejudiced because i live here however it really is genuinely is beautiful patrick could you put the kettle on please Thank you. Patrick, so used to the stainless steel teapot, has put this on the um, gas. Oh, yeah. Hub. So I'm kind of carrying it, hoping that the bottom doesn't fall out of it. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Who's for coffee? Patrick, could you put the kettle on again? Oh, did you? Very good. You're doing well in your training. <laughs> I won't trade you in just yet. This is a little shortbread uh, cookie that is made using predominantly ground almonds instead of flour. And then I sandwich them with my homemade strawberry jam. So, uh, Sharon, mm -hmm. uh, Fiona had mentioned to me that you had started experimenting with miso. I used miso to put into soups and stews, things like that. Right. This is fruit soda bread. This is a non-yeast bread, which quite a lot of our breads here in Ireland are. Our wheat and bread and our plain soda, soda farls. Um, and this, this is fruit soda. So this is just a sweeter version of it. Delicious toasted. Fresh the first day with butter, toasted the second day. That's the way it happens. These are cranberry and orange chocolate truffles with a little toasted coconut. That's how you know it's good. So this is the strawberries and um, getting them ready for next year. The runners are coming out on the strawberries and then we have to attach these to pots of soil and then next year we'll have even more strawberry plants than we have this year. We actually have over 300 strawberry plants and we've grown raspberries this year and then our gooseberries which are over here. And then up the top we is where we grow our vegetables and have planted all our fruit trees. We have plum and apple and a pear. This is a fig tree which I salvaged from my friend's conservatory. She planted it, didn't realise it was going to be so big. So I am delighted it's actually got leaves on it this year. I probably have to wait a while for the figs but I'm still so happy. So this is our fruit trees that we planted when we first came and then we have grown up here. We have beetroot and peas at the moment. Some carrots I think are up there different things and we have them in the ground we have rhubarb and yeah so we like to grow a lot of our own stuff so as you can see we're at the foot of the mountains in just outside of um, the village of Dundrum which is a couple of miles from Newcastle and Down Royal Racecourse which we're quite famous for here um, but we're just in a perfect location a little bit of paradise and we would be so happy to share it with you and then there's the other packet. Mm -hmm. so, so, so. <laughs>